Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, very exciting, the first look for me at Beyond EDC knives. Now I premise this by saying I've seen Beyond EDC knives. I've actually had the opportunity to cover Beyond EDC at a couple of shows. First at Blade Show 2021 down in Atlanta and then at SHOT Show 2022 in Las Vegas. Both times meeting with David Sun, who David Sun for me is somebody that's become a real great friend. I greatly appreciate his advice. And the fact of the matter is David's been very influential in the knife industry with a number of different companies. At this point, helping to build out beyond EDC as much as possible. And here in my hands today, this is the chunk. The Chunk is one of the newest knives in the asymmetrical lineup. Now, Beyond EDC having different lines. Beyond EDC itself is sort of the budget line. Asymmetrical falling right in the middle. Then they have the Terramundi, which is the high-end sort of, and I'm not going to say one-off, but very specific limited edition runs. So here the asymmetrical right in the middle and the chunk here, definitely one that caught my attention. So what we're going to do, we're going to unbox this today and get a first look at this brand together. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Beyond EDC for providing this full review. Well, and again, when I say people at Beyond EDC, I really do mean David's son. David has been fantastic. I've had the luxury of working with him on a number of projects. And here, this again, we're going to take a look at the chunk. The first thing to tell you, well, the asymmetrical line, it's that mid-tier lineup. So as we get into this here, you can see it's gonna come sort of nicely packaged, real cool logo. So the asymmetrical logo across the front here and then getting into it right away, a nice pouch and inside also a cleaning cloth. So here you can see just nicely presented coming to us here in, I believe what we're gonna see is gonna be titanium. And then as far as the steel, that's gonna be a little bit of, um, I'd say just something that we're gonna have to learn about together. But let's spin the camera around and we'll get into this into some detail. So again, the first thing I can tell you, not just the fact that this falls within the asymmetrical line, but this is a design by Dirk Pinkerton. I love Dirk Pinkerton designs. I think he does a fantastic job. And really, when it boils down to it, uh, Dirk and David Sun have gone back quite a ways. They've had a number of projects together with different brands. Dirk Pinkerton has been a prolific designer in the industry for years. He has not only his own personal line of knives and his own manufacturing, but he does a lot of work with other companies. And that's exactly what we have here with Beyond EDC, the asymmetrical line in this here, the chunk. Why is this the chunk? Well, as you can see, a nice chunk of a blade, just pretty large here actually. This goes outside the typical realm of what you see from Dirk Pinkerton, but at the same time, very cool. As you look at this here, you can see again, titanium. This is literally brand new out of the package. So, you know, you can see some factory oil on that. No problem. That could easily be cleaned up. Couple of impressions right away. Really cool in terms of some of these screws. You can see here that the pivot screw assembly and then also, you know, that sort of like little flipper tab in a way and then the backside here, just really neat. And while talking about the blade steel, it's what I thought it was gonna be S35VN. So for a mid-tier knife, very nice. The fact that you end up with that titanium, very nicely done. And then S35VN, that's cool. This does have a flipper tab or maybe you can leverage this as a bit of a thumb stud, but let's just check this deployment real quick. Buttery smooth. Here, the chunk. Look at this thing. A full flat grind, nice deep blade. Again, this goes so far outside of what you usually see from Dirk, but at the same time, very cool. Now, 
I do have to say, the fact that this is a Dirk Pinkerton design, it goes very far outside of his designs to the point where you probably wouldn't recognize it. Most of his designs, I can definitely tell they're his. This one, just so far outside the realm, you'd almost think it was another designer, but very cool nonetheless. You can see here a full titanium frame lock design. So here's your frame lock there, very nice, and good overall lock up there against the blade. You can see it has a pocket clip, so titanium pocket clip, fairly thin for the size of this knife. Single point there, you can see that single uh, clip screw there holding this into place, but that's not going to be a problem. It just looks a little undersized, in my opinion, for the size of the knife, but then again, at the same time, very clean and sleek, which is what you get here, just a real clean look. As we take a look at this here, you can see nice action, drop shut easily, and the action here. Just buttery smooth deployment, so very nice. Again, is this like a thumb stud? Sure, no problem, you can get right on that. And then underneath, mm, it's a little tight to be flicking it. To me, that's not really gonna work, but uh, you can do it. It just takes a little bit of an angle and a little getting used to it. You kind of need to get down beneath this. And yeah, that'll go no problem. So a few different deployment methods, that's definitely cool. Centering on the blade, literally perfect. That looks really good and just a cool look. This is actually quite flat, all things considered, but then again, it's tall. So some different geometries, sort of you don't see knives with this sort of geometry generally, and I like it. It's just different. It's got that real square look to it, very cool, and just a neat look. You almost end up with kind of parallel lines here. It's sort of boxy, but that's a good thing. So you end up with a lot of curves and a lot of sweep, yet at the same time, sort of a squared off look. It's definitely unique. Going back to the pocket clip for a minute, you can notice it is reversible, so that's good. It's going to be tip-up carry, which is my preferred carry method. So for your righties or your lefties, this is going to work out pretty nice, which is awesome. And generally speaking, a flat grind design, this is actually going to be a real nice slicer. If you're into using your knives for food prep or something like that, this will do very, very well. This is going to be a fantastic slicer where you end up with a nice deep blade, that full flat grind, and what feels to be a really sharp out of the box refined edge. As we check it for sharpness, this should be, yeah, like more than shaving sharp. So that's going to be just fine there. So nice quality edge from beyond EDC and the asymmetrical line. Taking a look at some of the finer details here, you can see the Dirk Pinkerton sort of maker's mark there. So you can see it sort of casting on the side of that flat there. So Dirk Pinkerton's mark, again, S35VN. And then in terms of the model, this is the SM2102-NA. This at this point, I think is the only colorway, but I'm not 100% sure of that. So we'll see over time sort of what comes out from Beyond EDC and the asymmetrical line. But again, just getting closer up, you can see there the asymmetrical logo on the flat. So definitely a cool look. This blade does have a satin finish. So you can see there, it looks to be a hand rubbed satin finish. So very nice, I like that. And the fact that this is a full flat grind, it's different for me. A lot of times I end up with more of a saber ground knife in my particular choice. But the fact that this is full flat grind, I actually kind of like it. It mixes things up for me. This is just a very refreshing look and feel. Now, one thing that Dirk usually does is multi-position grip. When you look at this right away, it doesn't really scream Dirk, and it doesn't scream Dirk's multi-position grip. However, hold on, take a minute now. So the standard grip here, definitely perfect. No problem, look at that, a nice large four-fingered grip. My large size hands getting wonderful purchase and my initial impression. This just beautifully done. The spine of the knife, 
wonderfully rounded off. That is one of the nicest rounded spines that I've felt in a long time. I mean, just that split second you get your thumb on that, you're like, wow, that is just comfortable. No hot spots, very clean. And the fact that these thumb studs, or whatever you would even call these, are so low profile, nothing gets in the way there. This is a very, very comfortable knife in the hand. It feels absolutely fantastic. I really do like this. I more than like this. I love this. This feels really good. But going back to the conversation of multiple grips, well, you can easily reverse grip this knife. Again, just getting a nice quality grip there, thumb over the top. That is so secure. And now I'm actually going back to the fact that this clip is low profile and saying that is definitely a plus because it's not really getting in my way here too much. I do grip on it just a bit in that reverse grip, but it's not getting in the way. And what that does is it gives me a real secure grip here, both with my thumb over the top, my main grip, but also as you look here, look at how deep this guard is. This makes a real deep guard. There is no possible way you would slide off of that. And whether you're plunging and using this for plunge or also stabbing, so reverse grip stabbing, that's going to be fantastic. Now, overall, do you do those types of things with your folding knives? For me personally, typically it would be a fixed blade. If you've been watching my channel, you do realize I'm the hard use fixed blade type of guy. Not only would this be an awesome folder, I would love to see this in a fixed blade version. I think that would just be so cool. The ergonomics on this really are fantastic. It's a great size. I'd say for most hands, it might be a little bit tall for people with smaller hands, but the fact that it's so thin kind of makes up for that. I definitely, as I grip this, you can see my grip is starting to close up and my fingers just kind of getting into the meat of my palm. So if you had smaller hands, it might be a little tall for you. But at the same time, the general ergonomics are fantastic. Everything nicely rounded and sculpted around all the edges. The titanium work done very well. Simple, yet nicely done at the same time. All the machining looks to be very sound. I greatly like this design. So from beyond EDC in the asymmetrical line, Dirk Pinkerton, nice job. And so a few last things to point out that I think is worth mentioning. The open design, I do like that. I like the fact that it doesn't have a full backspacer. However, if it did have it, it would probably add a little additional comfort for harder use if you intend on using this for harder use tasks. I do think this is a knife that's in that size class where for a folder, you could get away with pushing this a little bit, getting some good carving and outdoor use. This screams to me feather sticks and you know getting some fire prep going. The size of the knife, the shape of the knife, the overall style, I definitely like that. The only other thing that sort of limits that ability, it is on ball bearings. That's gonna be a pro and a con in my mind. I think for this knife, it should be on bearings. I think when you get into this sort of class of knife, people expect it. I understand that, it makes sense. The limitation being the fact that if you get grime or you know sand or something like that, it can inhibit the action. I understand that, I, I get it. I would kind of like this to be that hard use knife with maybe phosphor bronze washers and then a full backspacer and then the ability to get to hard use. So with that, now that we have this in the folding option, I would like to see this in a fixed blade option. That would give us the best of both worlds where you end up with this kind of elegant, pocket friendly EDC knife and then that harder use fixed blade version, which for me, that screams Dirk. I love this design. I think it's definitely really cool. Looks really good. I like the way they did the backspacer, that open design and the ability to clean this out really nice. And as I look in here, it does have some nice skeletonization. So I mean, a good amount of skeletonizing going on here to lighten this up. This is a great quality package. And in terms of fit in the pocket, well, let's check this out. That clip, perfect. 
slides right in, no problem, that's easy. No snag, low profile, pretty classy. Rides deep enough, but easy to get on. I like this a lot. This knife is fantastic. So very well done from Beyond EDC, the asymmetrical line, Dirk Pinkerton design, definitely awesome. And last but not least, you want to know that you have service backing this up. So this does come with a limited lifetime warranty, pretty much for any of the fit and finish and craftsmanship, the machining and all the things that you would expect to get warranty for. It is a limited lifetime warranty. So from Beyond EDC, very good. And with that said, I would like to say thank you very much again to David Sun at Beyond EDC. He's doing some hard work, fantastic work in the industry and building this brand. So if you like what you see here, do me a favor, support David, check out Beyond EDC, both the Beyond EDC line, the asymmetrical line, and if you're really looking for something special, check out that Terramundi line, limited edition, hard to get your hands on, and when they're around, you should probably jump on them. And then beyond that, if you like this content, do me a favor, check me out on my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. On that channel, it's growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there, so if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.